the battle for middle earth 1 and the battle for middle earth 2 what are the differences between these two games and which one you should start playing and which one you might want to avoid shall i describe it to you the Battle for Middle Earth 1 is a very unique RTS game with building spots. That means, unlike in almost every other RTS game like Age of Empires, Starcraft or Age of Mythology, you are not able to build whatever you want. There are some given spots for each faction's castle, camp or outpost and some outside settlements on each individual map you can build. This game is completely based on the Lord of the Rings trilogy with only 4 playable factions Gondor, Rohan, Isengard and Mordor. It includes exclusively the units and heroes we have seen in the trilogy. It has even a campaign which allows the player to replay the entire trilogy starting from the Mines of Moria all the way to the Black Gate. But you can also play it from the evil perspective to dominate the race of men. There will be no door for men. On the other hand, we have the Battle for Middle Earth 2, as EA Games got the license for the books while creating this game, unlike in the Battle for Middle Earth 1, they were also able to include way more than we have seen in the trilogy. Besides adding 3 brand new factions like Elves, Dwarves and Goblins, and even Engma in the Rise of the Witch King expansion, also the entire game design got changed. All building spots are gone. Gondor and Rohan got united in one faction. Man of the West! as heroes like Legolas and Gimli, which are fighting for Rohan in the battle for Middle-earth 1, have their own factions now. That still only counts as one! New mechanics got included, ring heroes got added. At last, the ring's power is revealed. More power points for each faction and even the ability to send resources to your allies in multiplayer games. But which one is better? It is very hard to answer this question as both games are so different that comparing them would be a big mistake. It depends on your personal preference. Do you like a unique RTS game with small sized battalions, the building spots and trilogy based factions with the best campaign ever created for any video game? Yes! then you should definitely start playing the Battle for Middle Earth 1. Are you more into games like Age of Empires or Starcraft in which you can build whatever you want, develop more strategies, have more mechanics or fan-made mods, then give Battle for Middle Earth 2 a go, as almost every great mod is based on either BFME 2 or the Rise of the Witch King expansion. I personally prefer the Battle for Middle Earth 1, as it is very unique and has a trilogy vibe while playing it. The campaign is so awesome that you can play it 10 times without getting bored. The building spots and the entire game design makes it simply epic and that's why I like to cover mainly Battle for Middle Earth 1 videos on my channel. But what do you prefer? Which one is better and why? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more Battle for Middle Earth related content from PvP to PvE tournaments then make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to this video. What are we waiting for? Thank you very much for watching and have a great time discovering the Middle Earth. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin.